So just find your wall or chair or couch or straight back position or door, close the door, and just to keep your idea of where your body is in space. And we're gonna do some really different things from what we usually do today. So get your back up against the object that you're sitting in front of. And we're, what we're going to do with it is just use it to keep you aware of where your body is. So get everything stacked, hips, shoulders, get your head slightly back so it's pressing just gently against the, the wall if you're on a wall or door. Or if you're not that high with your couch or chair, just make sure that you keep that neck nice and elongated. And the first thing we're going to do, of course, is because we're creatures of habit, we're going to switch our legs around if you're cross-legged. You can also keep them out in front of you in staff position if you prefer. So whichever way you want to do it is fine. If you're cross-legged, we'll keep uncrossing and crossing the opposite way to balance things out. So get your shoulders against the object that you're in front of. And just feel where you are, kind of lengthen up through the whole spine and breathe. And then just think with gravity and let it really pull your spine down and feel what that feels like, how it's different. And then after you've observed that, get that core activated and lengthen up and keep lengthening through the whole bones of your spine all the way up to the crown, making you taller. I had one student who actually grew it three quarters of an inch by doing yoga, according to her doctor, not just her. So just sink down with gravity, feel it compressing your spine, because that's what gravity does as we get older and we feel just sort of crunched in. And the more you allow that to happen and you don't keep the lengthening going from yoga or other activities too, you get stiffer and stiffer and you can't move as much. So you want to keep lengthening up, feeling those ribs go in and up, that whole spine lengthen as you reach your crown toward the ceiling. And just do that one more time, sinking down in and lengthening up. And then stay lengthened and just take a moment feeling that. Remember our breathing. So you want to be doing your three-part breathing. So the belly moves out first as you expand to the lower part of your lungs so that you get really connected into where that best oxygen movement through your system is. Your ribs expand and your collarbones rise. So you're filling your full capacity of your lungs and then you're exhaling, emptying through the collarbones, go down, the ribs back in, and the belly sink. And just take a few moments. You can close your eyes. You can put your fingers on your belly or your ribs or your collarbone and just feel that whole lung capacity being used. Exhaling, emptying, letting it happen. And then keep that inner awareness throughout our practice today, especially noticing where your spine is, where your shoulders are, how your head is positioned over your body as we're doing our practice. And just to keep things interesting, switch your legs around again if you're cross-legged, because we like to keep things balanced up. And then come back into your shoulders against the wall, spine against the wall, get those back of your body as close to the wall or whatever is in back of you as you can. Keep that head pulling slightly back so that if your head has something to reach in the surface of the, of the wall or door behind you, just keep it gently touching but not pressing. And then we're gonna work our spine in all its six directions. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do forward position. So bring your chin into that notch at the base of your throat. And as you exhale, we're going to keep peeling away one bone at a time from that surface behind you. So just keep reaching that forehead down toward your lap in whatever position you're in. And when you feel that lower back pull slightly away from the wall, 
Just begin pressing it back in and moving one bone at a time back all the way up as you breathe in. And then when you get all the way back upright with the head in place right above your body, your shoulders back against that surface, feeling what's going on with your spine. So again, tucking the chin in, exhaling all the way down, just one bone at a time, pulling away from the wall. Feel that core working with you as you kind of contract into that forward position. And then again, from the bottom of the spine back up, Feeling back against the wall all the way to the top, breathing in. So breathing out as you exhale down, all the way, and slowly pressing back one bone at a time all the way up. And as you get back into your upright position, just take a moment feeling your body. And of course, yeah, let's just keep switching those legs around, because why not? Getting things balanced. As you get back into your starting position, we're going to do a little back bend, still touching that thing. So bring your ribs out, bring your heart out, roll your head slightly so the top of your head goes against the wall, and feel the back bend. Keep lengthening through your spine as you do that. And then the same way we did before, bring your head back onto the wall, the shoulders, the ribs, and the whole spine. So again, pulling the hips slightly out, ribs slightly out, heart out, rolling the head, and looking up, getting that arched back bend through the whole length of your spine, and then working back the other way, back onto the wall all the way down. And one more time, same thing, bringing out the bottom of your spine, the ribs, the chest, and getting that neck into a slight back bend as well. And then releasing the head back upright and the upper body and the lower body and everything back into that aligned position. Just gently pressing into the wall. Ribs towards your spine and up, everything lengthening through your spine. Keep that crown reaching up even higher as you relax. And then we're going to do our side stretch, so lateral motion of the spine next. So we're just going to move from the hips and then the ribs and then the chest and the shoulder, head staying in line coming all the way down toward the side as you go. You can keep the arms sliding out if you prefer. And then again, keeping both shoulders on the wall, on the thing behind you, pivot back up into the center and go the other way. Start at the base and move your whole body slightly over. Keep both hips down, both sitting bones down. Whole shoulder area against the wall, just sliding straight to the side, and then slowly come back up. We'll do that again to the first side. And again, just feel your whole body slowly moving into that lateral motion. Shoulder staying back, and back up, and over to the other side. Start at the bottom. Work your way, keep both hips as much down as you can, both shoulders against the wall as much as you can. And again, sliding back up. And again, as you get back into your upright position, keep lengthening, keep that core activated, keep breathing. Let's switch the legs again. Just keep things balanced. So once more, make sure you're all against the wall, Lengthening up through the crown. Keep feeling that lengthening. And then we're going to keep one shoulder pressing into the wall. We're going to rotate into the twist. So this time the whole body's turning. And as you go, so your hips, ribs, and shoulder, this hip may come up a little bit as you turn because you don't want that lower back overworking. You can bring the hand across to that opposite knee. Turn 
all the way to the side. Keep lengthening up. Exhale, turn your whole body back to the front until both shoulders are touching again. And then we'll do the other direction, keep lengthening up. And again, bring your whole body turning, ribs and shoulder. This shoulder presses into the wall, the other one comes across. You can reach for the outside of the knee. Keep lengthening up, keep breathing, stretch it out. Turning as far toward the side as you can, and then back to the center. And we'll do that one once more. Let's switch the legs as we do it. So again, everything's stacked and supported, lengthening up. Feel that growth in your spine, and press the shoulder in. Bring the other shoulder, whole spine turning around, turning to face the side, hand to the outside of the knee. If you need a little leverage, you can press just gently into your knee with the hand to get that whole body turning. This back hip, remember, can come up a little bit so that you aren't overworking a lower back. And then again, turning back slowly to the center. Everything straight. Get this shoulder, other shoulder pressing in. Keep lengthening up so those bones have room to move as you turn to the side. Bringing that hand over to the outside of the knee, looking to the side. Keep the head reaching up, bones having room to move into their twist. And then exhale and come on back to the center, just slowly turning your whole spine back to the middle. Take a moment and breathe. Now bring your legs up and out into staff position. And just straightening that for a brief moment. Feel your body, core activated, lifting through the crown. And we're going to work that neck area a little bit more. So chin into that throat center indentation right at the base of your throat. So the base of your skull is moving up. Remember, the whole rest of your body stays straight. Keep those shoulders pressing back toward the object behind you. You can have your hands on your lap or the floor if you prefer. And just feel that top of your back of your head just lifting slightly as you lean that chin into that throat center. Then you can bring your hands up. Now remember, no pressure, just a little extra weight with your hands on the back of your head. Feel the neck. Keep the shoulders back toward the wall or the surface behind you. And then release your hands. Tip the chin back up. Shoulders on the wall. Everything stacked and supporting knees and toes up. Keep pressing out through the bottoms of the feet. Keep that core active, supporting your spine. Keep that lengthening going. And we're gonna raise the chin and lower the head so that the crown of the head is going toward that surface behind you. But keep the base of the skull, remember, reaching up and out as well. And then move your jaw around a little, releasing it. And then tip the head back upright. Okay, shoulders against the wall or whatever's behind you. And we're going to keep them there as we tip an ear over to the side. Remember, both shoulders stay at the same level they start at. No hunching up either shoulder. Just bring that ear over toward the shoulder on one side. The side you're tipping toward, that hand comes up and to the outside of your head. And remember, no pressure, just a little extra weight, feeling that side stretching a little bit more. Both shoulders still against the wall. And if you like it and you want a little more, hand to the floor, pressing it down. Take a breath. As you exhale, feel it release maybe a little more. Keep breathing. And then release the hand if it's on the floor, the hand from your head, and tip your head back upright. 
But remember, head right above your shoulders, right above your hips, right above your sitting bones. Keep reaching up through the spine. We're going to balance that, of course, and tip the ear to the other side. And just notice the shoulders against the wall and the head moving toward the shoulder with that ear going to the side straight. And again, as you tip and get to your position, bring the hand you're tipping toward up, add a little weight, not pressure, just weight. Keep those shoulders back toward the surface behind you. And again, if you want, you can press the hand or fingertips to the floor, whatever works for your body. Take a breath, just relax, and connect. Don't forget those feet, they're still pressing away. Don't forget that core, still active and supporting your whole spine. Keep lengthening up. And then releasing the hand from the floor and the one from your head. Tip your head back to the center. Feel both sides and don't forget to breathe. Notice that circulation. And again, we're going to keep the shoulders where they are. Turn your head, look toward one side. Keep the crown reaching up so those neck bones have room to move into the twist. Don't go too far, just as far as your body wants. Remember always personal practice. Keep reaching up, exhaling and deepening as much as you want. Keep those shoulders back toward the surface behind you. Keep that spine long so it's got room to move. Exhale, turn the chin back to the center. As you get back to your center, feel that. Again, lengthening up through the whole spine and then just turning the neck and letting your face turn toward the opposite side. Shoulders back toward the wall. Crown reaching toward the ceiling. Core still supporting your lower back. Don't forget to breathe. Exhale, deepen as much as you'd like. And then again, keeping the head reaching up as you turn back to the center. Take a moment as you get there and don't forget to breathe. You can stay in staff position if you like or come back into your cross leg position. You're gonna bring the arms out at shoulder level. Take your thumbs, put them inside the palm, wrap your fists around, fingers around to make a fist. And then the one fist goes up, the other one down, shoulders back against that surface behind you, elbows as straight as you can. Turn the fists going the other way. So one goes up, one goes down. Both of them moving, one at a time up, one at a time down. Just keep rotating. Feeling those fists moving. And then move the lower arm also, getting it all the way from the elbow through the fists moving. Keep those arms at shoulder level if you can. Shoulders back to the wall. Don't forget your core supporting you, the crown reaching up. Bring that whole upper arm as well into it. Turning your whole arms up and down. Breathe with it. Keep pushing out through the fists, just gently up through the crown as well. And then really get the shoulder involved, moving the shoulder away from the wall slightly as you turn the fists down and back into the wall as they go up. So feel like a good massage against that surface behind you. Breathe with it, maximize. Notice what your shoulders are doing as well as your arms. Keep them at shoulder level as much as you can. Keep breathing. And then just let the shoulders release. Just keep moving the arms. And then just the lower arms with the fists. And just the fists up and down. And then shake out your shoulders and your arms and release it. Circulation through that upper body. Just feel what's going on. And of course, now let's switch the legs. 
and do your opposite cross legged position. Take a moment there and breathe. Shoulders relaxing, but pressing back into that surface behind you. Whole body still nice and erect, core still activated, supporting your spine. Take a moment, just feeling what's going on through your shoulders, through your body. Don't forget to breathe. And then bring your knees up and your legs back out into staff position. We're going to do Roxanne's favorite, Diving Dolphin. So bring one foot up to your inner thigh, knee going out toward the side as much as it will. Bend your other knee, bring the heel back in close to your hip, but that hip will be up off the floor slightly because we're doing a twist with this. So you want that crown reaching up toward the ceiling. And we're going to turn the whole body. So lifting through the spine so those bones have room to move. Exhale and turn toward that first thing. So this shoulder is going to be against the wall as you start. We're going to pull the ribs in. Exhale, tuck the chin, diving underneath the dolphin. Exhale all the way down, forehead towards your knee. So you're peeling off the wall at this point. Inhale, face to the front, crown, reaching up toward the ceiling, looking up as you inhale to the sun and the sky. Sink back, exhaling, shoulder to the wall as you start your dive under, rounding into that forward bend. And as you get all the way down as far as you want to go, turn the face forward as you inhale, lifting the heart and the face toward the sun. And one more time, diving under and reaching up. And as you get back, shoulder to the surface behind you. Exhale, turning back to the center, both shoulders on the wall, and then releasing your legs back to staff position. As you get back to staff, check the core, check your shoulders, check your spine, still lifting up. Don't forget to breathe. And of course, we're going to dive our dolphin the opposite way because that's what we do. So once again, that left foot into your inner right thigh with the knee as much out to the sides as you can. Keep the back of your body toward the wall, shoulders toward the wall still. And then bending the knee, making your adjustment, bringing that heel in as close toward the hip as it wants to go. Not under, but that hip will be slightly up so it can turn in the twist. Stretch up, breathe in, exhale, turn toward the left knee, the lead, first knee you bend. Again, the shoulders against the wall as you start, the ribs go in, tuck your chin slightly as you round into the forward bend and exhale under the water. Head toward the knee, you're peeling off the wall, and then face to the front, lift the crown, lift the heart, looking up, coming to the sun and the sky as you breathe in. And again, back shoulder to the wall, ribs in, diving under, exhaling down, rotating, inhaling, face forward, chest lifting as you come up to the sun and the sky. And again, shoulder comes back to the wall as you begin, and one more dive under as you exhale. And then the back bend, lifting up, leading with your face and your heart to the top. Pause at the center and release your legs back into stacked position. Again, adjust so that you're against the surface behind you. We're going to separate the legs. Push the sitting bones back against the wall. Let that inner thigh get a little stretch out. Yeah. Press out through the bottoms of your feet. So you can go as wide as you want or not. It's just always personal practice. And again, we're gonna bring the hands to the floor, out to the sides, palms up and above your shoulders. Exhale, hands down to your shoulders, sink into the sitting bones. Inhale, stretch it up, crown and fingertips rising. Exhale down. This time as you inhale, Really lengthen, and as you exhale, turn to one leg. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, stretch. As you exhale, reach for that foot. Bring your chest toward your leg. 
chin towards your knee, top of the head towards your toes. Stretch it out, lengthening, breathe. And exhale as deeply as you want. Don't forget, both feet are pressing out away from you. Bring the elbow of that leg you're turned toward inside. Hold your ankle or your foot, however it works. Bring the arm out to the side, up along the wall, over toward your head, palm toward the floor, reach for your foot, come into as much of a stretch, facing the front as you can. So this is a little twist again. Do what's right for you. And then lead with the hand in the air, pulling you up, turn your body back to the center, and release your arms. Feel the difference on the two sides. So yeah, we've got to balance the body, do it again. So once more, hands at your side, press out through your feet, and arms out, palms up, over your shoulders. Exhale down, inhale up. Exhale down, inhale up. Exhale down, inhale up. And turn toward that other leg. Exhale down, get a good stretch up, and reach for your foot, chest toward the leg, and head toward your toes. Toes still pulling back on both feet, knees and toes up toward the floor. Stretch it out. Bring the elbow inside the knee, hold your ankle or foot or whatever works for you. Other arm out, bring it along the wall, up over toward your ear, and palm toward the floor as you reach toward your toes. Body facing the front as much as it wants in that twist. Take a breath. Stretch it out, head toward your toes and reaching toward your toes. And then lead with that hand in the air, coming back up, facing the front, arms out and down. Bend your knees, bring them in and turn to the side. So if you've got a wall there, you can do legs up the wall. And if you don't, just roll onto your back onto the surface beneath you. And we'll do our relaxation. So if you're doing legs up the wall, you're going to turn all the way. Hips toward the wall, feet up along the wall, pressing toward the ceiling. I'm going to go into corpse position just because it's easier to talk. So get your hands, palms up near your sides, whichever position you're in. Just relax your shoulders down onto that surface beneath you. Let your belly slightly arch up, getting that natural curve to your spine. Toes toward each other, and then let them relax. Take a breath. Exhale. Let your body just sink into that surface beneath you, growing heavy. And relaxing. Deep breaths in. Exhale, intention. Letting everything go. As you breathe deep and allow your body to release any tightness, just move your shoulders around. Let your spine release. Lots of work there. Just let it go. Exhale and relaxing. Just allow yourself to sink into that surface beneath you, allowing all the tension in your body to relax. And just release any thoughts of your body. And as you do, know that other thoughts will come to your mind. Let them go as well. It's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. At this moment, you can let the thoughts drift away as easily as your breath. No need to think of the past. No need to anticipate the future. Just let the breath go, the thoughts releasing, drifting away like a cloud. Allowing your body to sink into the earth support, your mind to float freely, and your awareness to turn inward. Find the peace within. Feel your body, feel your being. Take a few moments to be peace.
And if you can keep relaxing even longer today, feel free to take as long as you have. It's time to return to the moment. Just begin drawing energy and awareness with your breath to the body, to your own. Stretch gently and move your body more freely as you breathe more deeply. And when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones towards your heels, heels up towards your hips, and knees up towards your heart. Wrap your arms around however feels good for you today. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hug, letting your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you've had enough of an appreciation, just bring your head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side, and sit back up, getting ready, whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.